Dear friend, thank you very much for your support. Let's continue with interchange three. We have unit five. We have noun phrases containing related clauses. We know the differences between phrases and clauses. Phrases group of words missing either subject or verb. <coughs> Clauses, it means group of words we have subject and verb. Now let's look here what we said. And also, uh, noun phrases, it means maybe it comes, the clause that comes instead of subject, or maybe it comes instead of the object. If you look to here to this formula, we have subject, verb, auxiliary, complement, sometimes we say, or sometimes we say or object. Let's look to the second formula subject verb auxiliary object and this one we have subject which will be common or similar to the object it means those two words are similar like look here at the sentences we have we have something is the school system okay like look at the second sentences i'm really worried about something here i have the common between the two here is the subject is similar to the object here. When I have similarity between the two, I could join them in one sentence. For example, here we know when we have instead of the object, we could use which or whom or we could use who. Let's go explain it with the difference. We use which when we're talking about a similarity between things or between animals. Or maybe sometimes we have the options. Whom we use when we have similarity then between the objects, when you said instead of the object. And then also in only in British English. Then who we could use it instead of subject or instead of the object in American English. And then we said that which we could use it for both as the subject or switching with the object for animal and things. Let's look here again back. We have two things. We have something is the school system. I'm really worried about something. Then here, first step, how are we gonna do it? Let's look, take our sentences here, those two sentences. Then we know what we're talking about. Let's put the two sentences here. Then here, first step, we will switch this one with either because something is something, uh, it means with no life, then we put which, or you could put that. That's the first step I could start. Then I have to join those two sentences to one sentence. Then I'm gonna say here, I'm gonna put this switch in the front of here. Then I'm gonna say something, which or that I'm really worried about is the school system then because we know when we have instead of the object we could delete it then we could say here we could delete then I ended up like this subject that which that's the formula plus subject the second one verb auxiliary then the object here because this object will be deleted if you remember okay this object we deleted because I used this uh, which and that instead of this object. Then we have the verb from the first sentences, auxiliary complement or object. Then we ended up like this, something that or which I'm really worried about it is the school system. This one we said we could delete it or you could keep it. It's up to you. This is your option to delete or to keep it. Okay, let's go to the second sentences. Subject, verb, auxiliary, complement, or object. Then in the second one, we have subject, verb, auxiliary, object. We have the subject similar to the object. Because we said it, when we have similarity between things or animals, we use which or that. But when we have similarity between peoples, then we use who in American English for subject and object. We use whom for instead of the object. Let's look to here. Two things are money laundering and corruption. Then you say, I like to see two things being banned in my country. If we look here, 
we see we have the subject, this subject is similar to this object. We said it here when we have similarity between the subject, then the object, we delete this object, then we're going to use instead of this, which or that. Then we could switch it here. You could say, okay, switch in this one. Let's make the two sentences as copy it here. Then we know what we're talking about. First step, we change this. We're going to put that or which. That's my first step. The second step is like this. I have two things. Then I'm going to put this in the front of the subject I have. And they're going to say, do you think which or that I like to see banned in my country or money laundering and corruption? And then we said that you could delete this if we have it instead of the object only. Then we end it here, say do you think that I like to see being banned in my country or money laundering and corruption? We said that you could delete this, it's up to you, you could keep it or you could delete it. Okay, let's continue. We have subject, verb, auxiliary, complement, or object. Then the second part, subject, verb, auxiliary, object. Same, same thing, we have it here. The person is my younger, my young brother. Here I have the person similar to him in the second sentences. This is subject, this is object. Because we said that when we have instead of object, we use which or that for things or animals for human we use who in american english and then whom in britain british english then we have to change this one for example my sentences is gonna be like this first step we see here we switch him with who or with whom this is who in american english whom in british english then the other step, what we're going to do, we have to connect those two sentences to each other. Because this is whom is common with the person. Then we're going to say, subject that who, plus the second subject here, auxiliary verb, this object, because we delete it. We put instead of them whom or who. Then we continue verb, auxiliary, complement, then object. Then we ended up like this. The person that or who or whom I would like to see the most is my younger, sorry, my young brother. We said it here when we have scribing uh, similarity between two sentences when your object, we use that. And then we could use who in American English. Then we could use whom in British English. As we said it, whenever we have it, instead of the object, we could delete this. Or you could keep it. Let's go to do the other sentences. When we have a subject, then verb, then auxiliary, verb, then object. The second sentence is, we have subject, verb, auxiliary, object. This time is different. This time we have the object, is similar to the second object. That's the difference between this style and the other style. The other style we had it, we have the subject is similar to the object. As we have it here, subject, object. Then same thing here. Okay, here is different. Here, object is similar to the object. For example, we say, the school system is something. If we look here, then we see the other one, the other sentences, I'm really worried about it. If we look to the similarity, we have something here similar to it, or substituted by it in the second sentence. Then we have to join those two sentences together. All we have to do, first step, we change or substitute the it, the second it, this it with either which or that. Now we have similarity. What we have to do, we have to join this sentences to the other sentences. Let's do it step by step. 
then I have to take this, that, then just right away after something. Then I have to continue this part just right down here. This is how easy. Okay, we say the school system is something which or that I am really worried about. As we do it here, remember we said it with the object here, but we deleted, we substituted with which and that. Then we say the school system is something that or which I am really worried about. We said it when we have instead of the object, we could delete it as we did here. Something, sorry, the school system is something I am really worried about. But you have to be careful when we substitute the object, then we have to delete this something, this something as we did here. For example, something that which I am really worried about, about, if you remember, we have it here because we delete, we substituted with which is the school system. Because if we keep it, it here, it means we have done nothing. That's a big mistake. A lot of students, they do it. You have to be careful. Same thing here, because we switch it, then it uh, the, the object here with the two things, two things, the object we switch it with that and which. Same thing here, we switch it him with who or whom. Then we continue, sometimes we said it, when we have instead of the object, we could delete. The school system is something that or which I am really worried about. Then we could delete it as we said it. The school system is something I am really worried about. We have the other sentences. Let's look at this. Subject, verb, auxiliary, object. Subject, verb, auxiliary, object. We see here two things. Two objects are similar. Say common. Many laundry and corruption are two things. Here I have it here. I like to see them. This is the pronoun for two things. Then we say many laundry and corruption are two things. I like to see them banned in my country. We said that first thing, when we have sentences like this, all we have to do, let's go by step by step. We change this object we put which or that. That's the first step. The second step, all I have to do, we have to take this one first, then just write it down here after the two things, because they are two identical. Then we say, I like to see being banned in my country. If you see here, we delete this one, we switch it them, with which and that, then we took which and that and it's in front of the subject. That's how we do it here. Then we say subject verb auxiliary. Then we have the object here. This object and then is similar to the other object. Then we put which or that. Then we have subject auxiliary verb or uh, auxiliary verb. Then we have the complement. Then we say many laundry and corruption. Then we say or two things that or which I like to see being banned in my country then we said that this which and that we could delete it or you could keep it as we do it here many laundry many laundering and corruption are two things I like to see being banned in my country then period let's go to the other style of the question we have subject verb auxiliary object then we have subject verb auxiliary object then the similarity between the two as you remember we say we have objects similar to the other object if we look to the sentences first my younger brother is the person then i have the second sentence says i would like to see him the most the similarity between the two is the object here the person and the object here is him then we have to do for example let's do it together then we said first we delete the object here we put instead of who or whom or you could put that okay you have the option who for the American English when we said because who we could use instead of subject and object 
whom we use it for instead of object in British English. That you can switch both of them, whom or who or which, with that. Then the second step we have to do, if you remember, we switch at this. Then here, whom or that, we're going to put after the person, the similar one. Then we continue our sentences. Then we're going to say, my younger brother, oh sorry, my young brother is the person who or whom or that I would like to see the most. If you remember we said that this one, you could also delete it or keep it there. Then as we have it here, formula, subject, verb, auxiliary, object, then we have here that or who or whom, then we have the subject, verb, auxiliary verb, or sometimes we have the complement from the other sentences. Then we say, my young brother is the person. Then we have here, that or whom or who I would like to see the most. Thank you very much for watching. Please keep subscribing my channel.